Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back once again to another episode of The Labyrinth of Refrain, Covered of Dusk. Where we last left off, we have just met not only the baker, we have also met a woman named Juliet, who seems to be a rich noblewoman, and Maylee the baker is uh, a little terrified of her. I kind of am now too. And we've also finally beaten that witch boss. Because holy crap, Pecorino was very annoying to fight. So, we are going to be going now to a new dungeon. Melm, the Buried Empire. And as you can see by the image, kind of looks a little eerie. Mainly because everything looks like a regular tunnel. So I don't know why it's called the Buried Empire, but I guess we're going to find out when we start going further and further into this place. So let us get started. And thankfully with all the level ups we've been getting, especially to our brigades, it's been lowering the points of our brigades formation more and more. Ooh. Interesting music, and why does it look like we're literally just underground the surface? Because we have like, they have all these roots above us, and normally, if you were like in real life digging tunnels, you'd only see that if you're just under the surface. Why is it like we're just under the surface? It won't open, maybe there's a switch somewhere. Okay, so, can't go that way. Got an event here. The earth trembles as vibrations emanate from the antechamber off in the distance. You hear something collapse. Why? Oh. Another antechamber. Also, there's this on the wall. What's this? If I study the wall, I know if it's destructible or not. I mean, I can see that just by looking at my map. So, I have a better eyesight than you. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna fight. What do you got? Hmm? Your battle formation consists of the vanguard and the rear guard. Why is it telling me this now? Your brigade can receive different bonuses during battle depending on their specific battle formations. Okay. The all-out attack formation, for example, will increase the vanguard's attack and critical chance. There are many battle formations, so try out different combinations of vanguard and rearguard. Depending on your vanguard and rearguard setup, a battle formation will be chosen automatically. Okay, so can I actually do this? The all-out attack? Withdrawal. Pincer. Oh, okay. And then advance. Vanguard gets attack up, rearguard gets... Avoidance on. That actually would be good, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Wait, can I. Uh, no, no, no. Can, is there a way I can. Oh, yeah, swap positions. Uh. No, because now that's not doing the thing. How how do I? Oh, I'd I'd have to like sw I'll swap them up afterwards. Okay, guess I'll just do that then. I'm coming. Okay, so piercing damage is not effective. So hijacks him. 
Cronin are not going to do as much damage. That's fine. Damage is damage in my eye. Ooh. What? A huge boulder blocks the way through the tunnel. A young gentleman is standing in front of it. So I I actually went the white right, the right way. A stuck aristocratic youth. Damn it! Another cave-in. They must have used the antechamber. <laughs> you again. You're a real pain in the ass. I'll only warn you once. Give up your exploration. I won't tell you a second time. Got it? With that, the young gentleman leaves without a sound. The boulder blocks your path. It must be destroyed somehow. Huge boulder blocks the way through the tunnel. There doesn't appear to be a way around it. You have no choice but to find some way to destroy the boulder. You leave the area. Okay, so I can't go that way until I can destroy the boulder. I'm gonna guess I'm probably gonna have to go back to Dronia and tell her about it, but it's not telling me to go back yet, so I'm gonna guess I have to wait on that. And now I'm... Okay, so in this formation, vanguards get attack up and rear gets avoided up. Okay, so we're gonna try and see how well this works. Okay, they do actually. I like this formation, I am keeping this formation. Huge boulder blocks the way through the tunnel. Okay. So there's two areas with boulders. And we got the area up there, and now we have the area down here. There's a lot of boulders. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Isn't this the... Oh yeah, this is the room that I couldn't get in. Spongy iron padlock? How can it be spongy and made of iron? Explorer shoes. That actually sounds good. And another place with boulders. So, that could have been from us, could it? Oh, there's something happening here after we just rounded all the way back. Talk. Who are you? You see an important looking woman in dirty clothes with a group of three rambunctious ogre pups. Those are ogre pups? Are they your kids? I'm hoping not. And what's with that book? That book has black pages like mine! Ogre Pup Coda. I'm gonna guess Coda's the one on the far left. Hey Rosina, I'm hungry. Okay, so it's hovering over who's talking. Ogre Pup Beauty. Hey Rosina, Rosina, I love you, Rosina. I love you. Be quiet. Ogre Pup Morrow. Aww. Hmm? Who are you? You don't appear to be humans. Are you Manania? By chance? You look like explorers. I never thought I'd see Manania exploring the underground empire of Melon. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Rosina, vice captain of the Ar archaeological expedition team. Those ogre pups are Manania that we use to aid our exploration. Oh, so... Huh. So in a way, you know spells similar to Dronia, I'm guessing? Except you guys spawn little ogres? Hmm. A cave-in has blocked our way out, and now we're trapped here. Do you think you can help us? 
That huge boulder will make it difficult to explore any further. You should report this to Madame Jolia. You leave Rosina with her three ogre pups and exit the area. This boulder must be destroyed. Report to Madame Jolia. Okay, before I... No, 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 no. <sighs> We're exploring a part of the ecological... Yes, yes, yes. I... I didn't mean to talk to you again. There we go. I wanted to go over here because there was an item on the ground. Is there more? See it? Okay, that's an obvious breakable wall. But, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight to reporting this to Dronia. Because I feel like I'm gonna need whatever she has to break those boulders anyway. Or else I'm probably not gonna be able to continue on. Alright! Back to Dronia! Madam Dronia! Luca, what is the meaning of this? Our living expenses have nearly depleted! Okay, she's mad. <laughs> Cause I asked Mr. Nemto to make us an alchemy pot. Now we can finally have one! Huh? Did you get an invoice? What's an invoice? An... invoice? No... I didn't. What?! You little idiot! You spent all our money and didn't even get an invoice?! I don't even know what she's talking about either. I don't know what an invoice is. But, but, but he said he'd make it for us, and he said he'd deliver it once he was finished. Will he really deliver it? Because if he doesn't, I'll make you carry that thing all the way here. Do you think we have that kind of money to burn? But, 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 uh, Tracty collected lots of money, didn't you, Tracty? Don't you dare! I only have 7,000 more- Wait, how much is he asking for? Uh... Yes? See? See? Tracty says we have money! It's true! Tracty's spoils are separate from our living expenses. And if we don't keep them separated, we're screwed! Please be the alchemy pot. Excuse me! I brought the item you requested! Fritz! See? See? Fritz delivered it to us! The craftsman sets the alchemy pot on the floor. I see. Thank you for delivering it. The craftsman stares quietly at Dronya. Is he blushing? I can't I I can't really tell if he was already doing that. I think he wasn't. Okay. Nemto gives a polite nod, then leaves the caravan with Fritz following after him. Well, they brought the alchemy pot just like they said. Just like I said they said. Dronia closes her fist and bonks Luca on the head. Well, I mean, I can see why Dronia kind of did that, because you were kind of being a smart mouth. You could have just uh, said nothing, and just uh, said thankfully they delivered it or something, I don't know. Just something different than what you said. You sounded like you were being smart about it. Dronia turns to face the alchemy pot and begins her work. So excited! I can't wait. You'll see. Just watch. I'm kind of worried. All right, it's finished. Really? All it sounded like you were. It just sounded like you were like either dropping or dipping things into the pot, and then boiling it. I'm I'm confused. Like I know alchemy is like a like a bunch of like mixing of like chemicals and all that because alchemy is like a type of science and such but still I'm just I'm kind of confused of what's what you're making join your pour some droplets of a concentrated mana solution colorful sparks and smoke begins to rise from the pot 
And now the music starts picking up. <coughs> there. Look at what I've made. What did you make? Wow! It's so cool! What is it? What is it? I believe I shall call this a magic implosion stone. Can I borrow that? Well, witches make the coolest stuff. What's it for? Does it do something cool? It's a bomb. We're going to blow up the well with this. What? Huh? We're gonna blow up the whole well. Ugh, ah! <clears throat> oh, you're so loud. I didn't say I would use it right this second. Luca, now that you've seen me use the alchemy pot, you understand how it works, right? Oh, yes. Then use it to make anything Tracti needs. It will help our exploration of the labyrinth. <sighs> I'm going to bed. Take care of the rest for me. You obtain a magic implosion stone. Destroy the boulder with the magic implosion stone. Okay. Alchemy pot. Assemble and disassemble equipment. Finally, you can use the alchemy pot. Let me show you what you can create with it. Using the alchem alchemical synth synthesis, you can fuse equipment to create stronger equipment. Oh, okay. However, the stats increased by fusing equipment can vary, so don't just fuse things haphazardly. It's easier to raise attack by fusing high attack equipment, especially if they're the same type of equipment. Okay. Fusing rare equipment will also produce a stronger end result. The higher the rarity, the better. Alchemical disassembly is the opposite process in which equipment is broken down into mana. However, you'll need to purchase disassembly fluid before you can break down equipment. Certain artifacts can be broken down into soul vials that can be used to create puppet soldiers. Disassemble these artifacts as soon as you obtain them for a chance to receive higher quality soul vials. So now I can literally enhance this stuff with other things. Hmm. So that means I could, if I want, buff some of the weapons we have with the weaker ones and give them stronger stats. I like the sound of that. Oh yeah, I also got that new armor. I forgot about that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's give that a try. Let's do that with uh, Chaos. Take her pumpkin lamp and use this. Okay. Created pumpkin lamp. Well, I, I mean, I figured it was a pumpkin lamp, but thank you. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cool. We can we can literally enhance the stuff like any time. Do I have to uh, re-equip it to her though? I think I do. Nope, it's just automatically equipped. So now she has an even better pumpkin lamp. That's definitely going to be something that I do with some of my extra mana down there. Because I could use some better gear for my characters. But first, let's see what this is. New products have been added. What did they add? This assembly fluid. Ah. Oh. 
Parts of being average. Lonely. Earnest. Forbidden. The art of gentlemanliness? Oh, okay. So we got all these books that can change people's outward nature to other things. Good to know. Here I come to blow up the day with a bomb. <clears throat> Aha! But it looks like it can be destroyed using a magic implosion stone. The earth shakes and a fissure forms on the boulder. Now you can destroy it without using a magic implosion stone. Break every boulder that gets in your way. Should crumble any second now. Okay. Hmm. Niceness. What are you? Crabs. Evil crabs. What's this? Purple-eyed enemy symbols move along a set path. Okay. Yes. Purple-eyed enemy symbols have a wider threat range. Oh, they're talking about those big things. Oh yeah, that's right. There was that um one wall with a crack that I forgot. To... I'll I'll take care of that next time. Wall breaker. What? You broke through the wall and stumbled upon a den of monsters. The monsters prepare to attack you, and suddenly... Tisk, I can't, I can't let them escape. Black Shadow silently descended and shattered the mo scattered the monsters. I thought it said Shadow. You again? Damn it. You ruined my plan to round up that big one and throw it into m this monster den. Still, there's no point in killing them either. <laughs> Wait, what big one? Ah, uh, whatever. What's done is done. I'll discuss this with your master later. With that, the young gentleman leaves without a sound. Who was that guy? You should report this to Madame Dronia. I really should. Oh, wow, it's dark. Okay. It is dark in there. Something tells me I may be in need a new source of light, maybe, to see where I'm going in there? I don't know, I feel like going through there is bad news. Uh, so, Madam Dronia, while I'm saving, I have something to tell you. We got a little bit running with some gentleman guy who's going around killing things. Luca sings to herself while she prepares dinner. Dinner tonight is yummy red crabs. Tasty yummy in my tummy crabs. Coincidentally, I just killed crabs. And I also saw crabs die inside a cave. Crabs are all over. We don't gotta buy food. They taste so good when there's a tea dude. What are you, a pretty? That was literally a reference to a printy from Disgaea, because they spell dude with D-O-O-D. -O -O it's done! Just in time for dinner! Madame Dronia, dinner's ready! I made crab saute! Madame Dronia? Wait, was was literally that bell, like, your guy's, like, alarm bell for when something's done cooking? Thing to ask yourself, but okay. <gasps> Who let off 
a nuke! What the hell was that? M Madame Dromia? Tracti? Luca grabs Tracti and runs after Dronia. Now then, if my hypothesis is correct... Are you literally just dropping bombs into the well? Oh, it's him! A well-dressed man enters the rotun rotunda as Dronia examines the well. You must be Dronia. <laughs> <clears throat> you must be the one who wrote that little warning message. At last, you finally show yourself. Are you the one who's been getting in Tracti's way? If you interfere with my work, it will cost you dearly. Your brigade is getting in my way. Stop exploring the labyrinth this instant. I won't warn you again. He's very persistent to making sure he's the only one exploring it. Dronia slips her hand up her sleeve. Hey, keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> Just shut up and watch. I'm about to gather evidence to support my theory by blowing up this well. But Oh wait, that's right, you were planning that. I'm guessing what you gave me you're going to test out now here. Dronia drops the magic implosion stone down the well and swiftly leaps out of the rotunda. What? Bye! <laughs> Hope you have a nice life! As I thought. Why, you. What did you do? The explosion should have blown up the well and leveled the rotunda, but the blast didn't even reach us. You tried to blow up the well? Why the hell would you do that? I was curious, that's all. I really should just kill you now. Mm -mm. Should I get defensive? Should I spawn the brigade? Beat his ass? What do I do? You. Kill me. Shut up. I can kill you whenever I please. <laughs> As for you, my working hypothesis is that you're some sort of malignant spirit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> malignant spirit? Really? You truly know nothing, Dronia. My name is Neldo. Remember that, you ignorant fool. Saying that with a smile. These two, I can tell, there is sparks flying of both of them really wanting to kill each other. If you open your mouth again, I will cut you. Do not test me, Tannis Witch. Tannis Witch? Tennis. Like a burst of light cutting through the dusk, Neldo drew his blade and attacked. Warm blood trickled down the fresh cut on Dronia's face. Ooh. I told you not to open your mouth. Hmm. Do you think a little pain will make me back off? Shut up. You. Murderer. Is thrashing your sword about supposed to scare me? Is this little cut supposed to make me surrender? I may be no match against your swordplay, but so what? Do you think I'll submit if you hurt me? Perhaps you should not test me, as I'm no stranger to pain. Those bells are tolling a lot. Gouge out my eyes. Cut off my arms. Come on, do your worst! Sounds like she just hit a nerve. Besides, you may not be a malignant spirit, but I can tell by your stench that you're no human either. 
Melville, was it? One way or another, you will give me the answers I seek. Enough. I'm going to kill you. It's the only way. But if it awakens... If what awakens? Just a cut! Stop freaking out! It's nothing. Just a vermin scratch. I'm sure you've already figured it out. But this well doesn't lead underground. It leads to another dimension, right? Is that where you're from? <sighs> At that moment, Luca hears low, otherworldly groaning coming from behind her. Oh, it's one of those things! Ah, Madam Junior! Madam Junior! Look! Look! <laughs> Junior observes the unclean one standing before her. It does not appear to pose a threat. And what exactly am I looking at? You don't need to know. <laughs> Very well. In that case, I'll just blow it up. Sometimes the direct approach produces the best results. Tronia takes out another magic implosion stone. Are we sure we want to blow up the thing that looks like a walking zombie from the void? No, don't! Ugh, enough of this. I just need to kill you. From there, I'll improvise. Luca raises the Tractus de Monstrum to deflect Neldo's attack and his sword falls to the ground. The Tractatus de Monstrum? Wow, I didn't think that my covers of my book form was so impenetrable! Well done, Luca. Dronia quickly takes out a blue stone and throws it at Neldo. Upon being struck by the stone, Neldo vanished, and enraged Owl now stood where Neldo once was. <laughs> Is that your true form? An owl? Wait, he was an owl? How come we don't get to see it? <gasps> Dronia stomps on the owl before it can fly away to safety. Now then. I believe you said something about killing me. <laughs> the poor owl sputters blood before fainting. How horrible. I mean, it's brutal that she's doing that, but I mean, he was trying to kill her, so I, I guess it kind of justifies itself. He's not explaining why she shouldn't kill the unclean one in front of us. But I'm also concerned why the thing is not attacking us, because people talk about people disappearing at night because of the unclean ones. If they're so bad, why is this one not doing anything? Ooh. Stop! Please! You're, you're killing the owl! Luca picks up the owl, rescuing it from the wrath of Dronia's prosthetic foot. <laughs> getting closer what is this thing I suppose it's worth a try what's worth a try what are you spin in place three times and turn away if you understand me <laughs> I can't tell if that's him obeying or if that's him getting upset. My glamour failed. Its monoflow is too turbulent to read. Are these the <clears throat> same creatures that the people of Refrain spoke of? Or did they come from beneath the well? The people in this town may be used to their presence, but this is clearly not normal. The unclean one shuffles about. 
It doesn't appear to pose an immediate threat. Oh well, I can deal with them later. Let's go, Luca. Uh, uh, Madame Jonia, what about the owl? Leave him. With those injuries, he'll be dead soon enough. I'd rather make him human and press him for information, but if my potions fail, it's just going to cause more problems. But I feel so bad for him. <laughs> Very well. If you can heal him, then you can keep him as a pet. <laughs> I'm sorry. That made me laugh a little. You're just gonna go through it. Knowing that this was an actual sentient person now turned into an owl, you're gonna... Well, she said that that was his true form, so... Could he be a familiar? It sounds like something a familiar would be. I don't know. But you have to keep him in a cage. And don't let him get anywhere near mana or my potions. The labyrinth is another dimension? Be that as it may, continue your exploration. Well then, that's just gonna have to be something for another episode because I'm all out of time for this one. So, we now know the name of the... The guy that literally just tried to kill Dronia just now, and now he's an owl. For how long? I have no idea, but hey! He's an owl now. And Dronia didn't give us anything about the dark area, so it looks like I'm guessing when we go back down there, we have to go through the dark. So I can already tell that's gonna be something new, but I guess we're just gonna have to see how that goes when I do that. And we also learned those unclean ones some reason, they don't pose a threat, but people talk about them disappearing because of them. So, I am having even more thoughts that there is, like, some sort of conspiracy that none of the people are telling us about, mainly the person in charge. But we're just gonna have to see in the future episodes when I get further into this game. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and of course, don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, subscribe and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, and all of you please have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everyone. It's delicious.